dear all welcome back to today's question add binary so today we will be solving this lead code numerical before we solve let's study the question what is telling in add binary so first it mentioned here that given to binary strings a and b written their sum as a binary string that means we are provided two binary strings we are provided two binary strings and we have to return their sum by adding those binary strings we have to return as a string so we are getting a string and when we have to return a string now this is an example and this is constraint constraint that we must follow during the numerical one less than equals to a dot length comma b dot 10 less than equals to 10 to the 4 that means it will be highest of four digits highest of four digits a b consists of zero and one character as that's binary it will be only consisting of those two characters zero and one each string does not contain lead zeros except for the zero itself that means there will be no zero at the beginning of if that is a string there will be no at the leading position and that is the solution that i have solved so we will move to the solution later first we will understand the concept that how we can solve it and for that let's try to understand it let me change this okay so this was the problem and now we will be trying to understand the numerical so first this these were the examples and what we are getting that a equals to 11 this is a a that is equals to 11 and this is b that is equals to 1 in numerical we have to add those two strings we have to add those two strings and we have to return the result whatever the result would be that would be 100 like 11 1 so if we just add this 1 1 0 from 10 and now 1 will get added and this is 100 so we have to return this 100 by calculating through our codes that is the main code logic so for that we have to understand the concept that how we can solve it i will tell you one by one every step keep observing first just notice the example 2 then put a equals to 1 0 1 0 and then put b is 1010 0, 0. b is 1011 0, 1, 1. so first we look there is 0 so to solve this type of things there will be always one thing that we, that we can notice from here that is carry bit when we add on plus one one plus one it becomes ten that means from one and one digit we get dual digit and this extra digit that we get one here this is called carry bit this is called carry bit so we will be using a carry bit in our program so first we'll be just initializing our variables integer carry bit carry bit that is equals to zero so by default it will be zero for the first time that will be carry bit now let's will be start traversing from this side both because it will be easier for our program from this side for both and then we'll be comparing this one and this one so we'll be running a loop that will be comparing all the characters that, that will be comparing this character this character this character this character that means we have to run a loop that will be comparing all those characters that will be comparing all those characters and for that for that first we will be featuring look we have to iterate all the characters here we have to iterate all the characters one zero one 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 zero dual one so first we have to extract those characters from here and for that we will be using the dot character method that is a for featuring this first we'll be finding their length we'll be finding this length we'll be finding this length let's call this length m and let's call this length n so that will be n and we will be finding this index so we'll be will be initializing by this index at this so the index of this position will be integer m integer m equals to the index of this one that will be a dot length that means string a dot length dot length minus one because it starts from 0 1 2 3 so that is the length will be by default the length will be 4 and our by default the length will be 4 by default the length will be 4 and it moves up to the 3 so we'll be writing a dot length minus 1 then we'll be extracting and then we'll be finding this in this length that starting index from right side that is integer b equals to b dot length that is the length of the string that is the length of this string and the starting index the starting index from this side this one that will be minus 1 so in this way 
in this way first we will be extracting from where we will be starting so now we got in this string that 10101011 so we will be starting from this index and the index we have got from here from here after getting this index as we will be traversing from there we will be featuring those characters we will be featuring we will be extracting that character we will be extracting this character then this character then this character so for that we will be using this method that a dot character at a dot character at dot a dot length minus one that is m so if we just apply this then we extract this zero from there this is extracted this positions character again if we just apply b dot character at b dot character at n so we extract this one from here now we have extracted those characters 0 and 1 these are the characters now observe what we have extracted from here 0 and 1 those this 0 and 1 these are characters these are characters and all characters are associated with ASCII values all characters are associated with ASCII values they have a uh, ASCII value for all those characters and when we do the calculation whenever we do the calculation we get the ASCII value that means for 0 the ASCII value starts from 48 and it goes as above so whenever do any operation any calculation it actually occurs in ASCII range in ASCII value and we will be working this is our binary problem so as this is our binary problem this is our binary problem binary problem we always have to work with either 0 or 1 so suppose if we just take a dot character and if we just try to add those two index if you try to add 0 plus 1 if you try to add this you know what will happen it this will be like this that will be 48 0 the ASCII value of 0 is 48 and the next character ASCII value of 1 that will be 49 so it will be 9 7 97 so it will be 97 we will get 97 if we just subtract 0 minus 1 so it becomes 48 minus 49 so it becomes minus 1 but what we just do this what we just do this that 1 minus 0 1 minus 0 1 minus 0 then it becomes 49 minus 48 that means we got here 1 we got here 1 and then if we just do 1 minus 0 minus 0 0 minus 0 then we get 40 8 minus 48 that is equals to 0 that means if we if we subtract 0 from those places if we subtract 0 from those places as our program into our program just for extracting the binary value from here for extracting the binary value 0 and binary value 1 if we just do this this operation then we will get the binary and we have to work with this binary values so first we will be initializing the length number 1 then we will be extracting the character once we have extracted the character we will be extracting the binary values from here after we have extracted the binary values we will be starting our program forwards so first we have to iterate for all the strings the strings are what 10101011 10 10101011 so that was the string so first we have to start we have extracted this one this one after we have extracted we have to move toward this so we will be running our program till till this i mean it has character that means the length of this the length of m the length of m is greater than equals to zero or we will be running if this the length of that n that is n is greater than equals to zero for that or we will be running the program you will be running the program if there is carry bit because whenever we add this look in this section whenever we add 1 plus 1 and this from from adding those 1 plus 1 from this section we get that is 10 so we get a carry bit so if the carry bit if the carry bit is also greater than equals to 0 that means there is a carry bit then we run our program and in our program we actually add those values into the sum we add those values into the sum so if we just we have understand the basic now how the sum is working so first when we will be understanding that in details that how the sum is working so first we have extracted the digit now we just apply this sum sum is occurred like this integer sum that is equals to first we add the number of a number of a let's say this is number a 
and then we add the number of B and then we add the number of A that is 1 from here 1 and number of B that is 0 we add this number 1 and 0 the sum becomes 1 so we get the sum 1 from here now we move to the next set of digits we got sum from there then we extract the digit 1 1 1 the next set of digit we get from here is 1 and 1 so now we will be working with next set of digits digits 1 and 1 now we will be working with those uh, sets of digit 1 and 1 so from as initialized first we will be extracting we will be extracting both the we will be extracting these are just characters first time in terms so again we will be extracting the character the numerical binary values so that will be digit a 1 minus will be extract subtracting 0 we will get 1 from num b again 1 minus 0 and from here after the subtraction will get 1 then we will again add the sum we will again add those because we have to add here look we have added we have to add those so now we will be adding those sum will be equals to number a plus number b num a plus num b we will be adding those sum and now the sum will be become will be 1 plus 1 that is equals to 2 since this is binary and the sum is 2 means we write down 0 and carry 1 now look now we are working the main thing is we are working with binary we are working with binary we are working with binary with binary and our sum and our sum is 2 and we got the sum as 2 we got the sum as 2 so for that we apply a special type of data structure a special type of programming programs we apply for handling this logic and uh, for handling this logic we actually first now append the remainder the remainder of 2 so we also actually take a string builder string builder sb string builder sb equals to new string builder we take this line at the first initiation because this is the string where we'll be actually adding our result so what we do we have gotten here two. here we append we actually append the remainder we append the remainder value value because when we do just suppose if we just make the remainder of this two so it becomes two percent and two and what it becomes two percent and two that is equals to zero so when we get this type of cache is we actually add the zero and the carry becomes one so it becomes the and the carry the carry next we you find the carry bit by dividing them by dividing the actual sum we got by two so it becomes a can't uh, carry so here the carry becomes one and this goes for the next iteration goes for the next iteration goes for next iteration this goes for the next iteration and this the remainder this uh, remainder that we get this uh, remainder that we get uh, some percentile to this section that uh, remainder section one we append this into our result and it becomes for the first iteration so we append like this sb dot append sb dot append we append this some percentile two so whatever the value is some percentile two that gets so if that is either two percentile two then zero will be added if that is one percentile two then again zero will be added so this way it will get calculated and the exact result will be added and as the loop ends as the loop ends as the loop ends all well, the characters uh, gets matched one by one as the loop ends the characters were 1010 zero, 1010 zero, one, zero, one, zero, and 1011 one, one. so as the loop ends we actually handle all those characters one by one one by one one by one whenever we get extra bit in case of those we get one plus one so the one plus one this addition 10 it is handled by our carry bit carry bit because it comes one plus one it actually becomes in our program 10 but in our program it becomes two and we handle it through those lines that uh, we handle carry bit by two by two two by two that is one so now look the one we got here the one that is extra here and the one that is extra where this is coming this carry this is coming to the carry bit this is being assigned into the carry bit by this logic that sum by two 
this is the sum that is the sum 2 the sum by 2 provides us the logic that is and we add 0 look that now this 0 this 0 is handled by remaindering remainder that is the remainder equals to this 2 sum sum that is 2 2 percentile 2 so that becomes 0 and this 0 is added to the to our result so this is a little bit complex now uh, understanding and through this we actually handle the adding of binary after we have added the entire binary the binary gets added in this format in this format the binary gets added that is 1 0 1 1 1 10 0 1 1 on 10 so it actually gets added in a program like this 1 0 1 0 1 and so we actually reverse it to get the actual result 1 0 1 0 1 so at the end we apply sb dot reverse dot reverse we apply the reverse and dot to string and we return this result and that becomes the solution of our code so this is uh, the way how our program works so let me show you the code okay so now we'll be adding to binary numbers so first we'll be initializing variables we'll be initializing initializing the variables we'll be initializing the variables first we'll be initializing integer n integer n integer n that i told you that will be the starting point from the right side for the first a and similarly the m will be so we write integer n equals to a dot alien gth length minus one integer m equals to b dot alien gth length minus one so now we have uh, initialized the variable n and m we also use an uh, extra variable that is carry for uh, handling the carry bit integer carry that is equals to zero and now string builder where we actually where we actually assign the results string builder is equals to new string builder string builder okay now we'll be iterating through all the digits of a and b now we will be iterating through each of all the digits of of the a and b so we'll be running this program when up to the length up to our length is greater than equals to zero that is while n greater than equals to zero zero one m the value for the second string is greater than zero or the carry bit is also greater than zero or carry is greater than zero because if carry is zero so there is no impact on our code now we'll be assigning the carry into the sum and first time what about the carry that the sum will get added from here so we assign the uh, carry into the sum for the first time now we'll be adding the corresponding digits from a if present so if n greater than zero that means if that is possible to add so we'll be start trying to add sum plus equals to we'll be adding the digit with sum a dot character at a dot character at nothing special n because we will be starting from the right index and we'll be converting that into binary by subtracting zero now the subtraction converts now the subtraction subtraction converts converts the character into binary look i've already made you understand actually you just uh, missed few lines of code so i'm again telling you first this was integer n a dot length minus one and that is in that was integer m that was p dot length minus one so we initialize the variables here and then till the length n this length is greater than zero this length is greater than m is greater than zero and the carry is greater than zero then only it will have impact on our program so we start iterating for all the all the i mean all the characters present in the string so first we add first uh, here we add with the sum only by converting the character into the binary here we have converted 
now again we check for the next conditions and also we have to do one thing here is n minus minus if now if m greater than equals to zero if m greater than equals to zero then we will be again adding some plus equals to b dot character at m minus zero again we will be converting this with the zero now now this subtraction now the subtraction converts into converts the character into binary this is very important things m now if both are done now we can now we'll be appending the remainder because we have to add as a swayu in the code that we always append the remainder so sb dot append sb dot append sum remainder will be sum percentile 2 so we append this remainder and we assign the carry equals to sum by 2 so whatever will be that is assigned to carry and after the loop is completed through while after the loop is completed we'll be reversing the entire list so return sb dot reverse sb dot reverse dot to a string it converts the string builder object into a string so let's run the code and if see if it works or not memory limit exceeded i just don't understand we got this error let's check it so first there is integer n a dot length minus 1 em integer carry string builder object name is string builder object and then we'll be checking for n greater than 0 m greater than 0 or carry is greater than 0 integer sum equals to greater than 0 if n greater than 0 then sum plus equals to a dot character at n and then we're subtracting 0 0 and sorry look we just forget to actually reduce the value of this second text our second text was not getting reduced and that's why we exceeded the memory now if we run the code will work and we'll get the result and so we got the result and i made you understand about the programs so we are finishing this video we'll be meeting in another question thank you that's well